Although they loved his movies, real fans of David Lynch are almost as fascinated by the many stories about his unusual behaviour, like his famous big boy period, for example. You see, for many years, David would come here to Bob's Big Boy Diner every day for an all-American lunch, after which he'd embark on marathon coffee drinking sessions. Fueled by the caffeine and his excessive sugar intake, he'd then spend the afternoon writing down ideas for movies on the napkins, thoughtfully provided by Bob. I was in the Bob's um, halfway through a racer head for seven years, um, actually, Dune, uh, the end of Dune was pretty much the end of uh, Bob's. And what, and what would you do at Bob's? I had um, a cup of, well, several cups of coffee and one chocolate shake each day at 2.30, a silver goblet shake. Bob's hasn't gone on for a few years, but um, there are fond Bob's memories. Um, Bob's went on for shoot it was a it was a ritualistic experience for at least eight nine years of my life solid daily ritualistic experience 2 30 bob's time no no doubt about it and you were in the car and off to bob's and you had a large coke big boy combination and a chocolate shake for dessert and they had the best fries and that was where the drawing on napkins took place the ideas and uh tons of coffee with lots of sugar. I would get onto a sugar jag and create on the napkins, to try to get ideas. So what, what would sugar, what kind of a wash would you get from that? Well, it would just a sort of a euphoria, a happiness. And you still use mood-altering substances like sugar today? Yeah, I'm heavily into sugar. I, I, I call it granulated happiness. And um, it's um, uh, just a, you know, a great, you know, help a friend. <laughs>